this nice little brown trout on the curly grub. Hi guys, Craig from Outdoors Gap here. Today we're going to be looking at how to rig a two and a half inch Z-Man grub. There are several ways you can fish the actual grub and rig it. Um, for more information on nine ways, go to outdoorsgap.com. We've got a good article there. Today we're going to rig the grub with just a standard jig head. Uh, this one's from Tackle Tactics, a size two hook. black curly tail grub. The first step we're going to do is measure the hook compared to the actual grub and just take a mental note of where the hook will come out for the grub. And just line it up and put the hook tip right in the dead centre of the body of the grub and just simply thread it on taking mental note of where the hook would come out. Just push it on. There we have it. The Z-Man two and a half inch curly tail grub. Now uh, the more you practice doing this, the quicker you'll get. Um, it's probably a good idea to practice at home rather than trying to practice in a rocky boat or when the fish are rising everywhere and you get a bit excited, it's very hard to rig. Some of the common mistakes people, how people rig it. So you put it on like that. You can see it's not actual up on the jig head enough. Another common mistake is they thread it too far through and it interferes with the actual tail section. You can see that's all, that one's all scrunched scrunched up and it won't swim through the water as good. You can also use this rigging method to do like a Ned rig, which is a mushroom style jig head. You can also use it for micro chatter baits. Same sort of threading method. And also a hidden weight system. For hook size, generally around a size four or size two or size one will fit the two and a half inch grub. Um, any bigger or smaller, uh, too big and interferes with the tail section of the grub, the hook will come out towards the back. Uh, too small, you find the gape of the hook, the body will interfere with it and it'll be too small a hook. As far as jig head weight, uh, that'll depend on what actual fish species you're targeting and also what depth and what sort of action. As an example, you're fishing um, heavy surf or currents, you want a heavier jig head to get down quicker. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, you might be fishing shallow water and you might have something a very light jig head um, or a hidden weight system. So it just, the lure just actually flutters down gently and it doesn't plummet down. So that, that'll be depend on what you're actually chasing. But don't be afraid to unhook the actual grub, if you don't thread it on properly, if you've got little wobbly bits, it's not quite right. It's better off just to spend an extra few seconds and try and re-thread it on again. One question you do get asked is, does it matter which way that tail actually goes, whether it goes up or goes down in relation to the hook? Um, it's just a personal preference, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, one negative, if you do rig it with the tail up, especially on the two inch, two and a half inch, three inch actual um, grubs, is actual tail can get caught on the hook sometimes when casting, especially on windy days. Thank you for watching. For more information and fishing tips, go to outdoorsgap.com. Thank you.